a principally based system to where uh, you know what's happening before it happens. And really outside the home, all you can do is give yourself a much advanced warning that someone is on your property or uh, inside your perimeter, right? Whatever that means to you or however your house is set up is gonna be different. But if someone's inside a perimeter, I'm inside my driveway, you know, probably about 20 feet um, right now. And this is kind of my first line of defense. Now, principally, we just want early warning and as much as possible. So someone if makes it this far down my driveway, right? Uh, I'm going to be alerted with a driveway sensor that someone's pulling up, right? These are easy. You can search for them on the internet. They're all over the place. Um, also, what I would tell you is there's two different things you could do at this point is A, you're getting early warning, but B, another thing I do is I set up two really types of cameras for my house, right? The first camera is you see them off the corners of the houses, right? So if you pull up to my house, you see the house has cameras. This is a major deterrent right here, right? All things being equal, I have cameras, my neighbors don't. They're gonna go, a criminal's gonna go to the easiest house, right? Um, the next thing is while you're trying to look at the cameras and figure out what I have for security, right? Um, another thing I have is trail cameras, right? And by the time you see this trail camera and you get to this trail camera, I already have facial recognition on you, right? It's okay to have cameras, right? But a lot of times with security cameras, um, they're set up in a point to see people come, but not catch that facial recognition, right? So uh, I have a few trail cameras I set up, uh, you know, that go instantly to my cell phone that by the time you realized uh, you seen the cameras on my house, by the time you realized this was no good for you, I already had your face as well. So I would say there's kind of two types of uh, things that you could do with uh, external cameras outside the house. And with those external cameras outside the house, one is the stuff they see that's obvious, which is a great deterrent, by the way, right? And the next is the ones they don't see, right, that do more for me than the overt security, right? And I would say this is um, if you talk to home invaders that are in prison, the biggest things they look for is those external cameras and having uh, a sign that says you have an alarm company in your front yard. These are huge deterrents to these tie situations. Now, if we're talking about uh, looters, rioters, the mob coming to your house, right? What, what I would say with these uh, rioters is you have to make it look like there's nothing to see here, right? Don't stand on your front lawn when you could be inside a, a window or inside the house looking out. They can't see you, but you can see everything they do, right? This is a better place to defend from. I call this strong pointing. Uh, we used to do this in the unit all the time when we would take a, a house in Fallujah, Ramadi, these hotbeds where, you know, it's fire going all the way in. You take the house, the neighborhood erupts that you're there, right? They're coming after you. You know, uh, these used to be the, you know, 10 guys taking the house have to turn into 10 guys defending against 100 people. And what we would do is strong point all the time. Leave nothing to see, right? But at the same time, right, just because you can't see us doesn't mean we're not watching your every move and ready to defend. So a lot of times with the, with the rioters, give them nothing to see and maybe they'll move on. Maybe they'll see your cameras. Maybe they'll see you have security. Maybe they'll realize they're on camera and they've already trespassed to get a picture, right? When you get their picture, uh, maybe they'll realize all that and move on because your neighbor's house just might be a little easier.